Dear day everyone, Frosty back with yet another guide. Flood of Valley strategy was done a year and a half ago at this point. It still works, but it's a little outdated, so I'm bringing something new to the table. Let's grab Brickle and head right into the valley. We're gonna start with a regular Flood of Valley start for us this time. Sub down here, touching the exit, and once you hit $350, place the sub in this general area. You'll fast forward all the way through to round 11, where you'll place Brickle on the curve here. Continue on, upgrading your bottom sub to twin guns at round 14, then naval tactics on round 15 when the pink balloons appear. After, grab advanced intel on your bottom sub. Skip ahead to round 19, where you'll wedge a buccaneer between Brickle and your sub. Grivet grape shot after round 20, and then faster shooting after 21. Activate naval tactics for 22 and pray through 23. No, it's okay, you'll be fine, don't worry. Grab submergent support for 24 on the bottom sub, and then bring it back up after the round is done. 25 is fine, so naval tactics on 26 when the zebra balloons appear. Afterwards, upgrade the ship to hot shots for 27, and then double shot for 28. You'll play on to around 31, where you'll naval tactics at the start of the round. 433, upgrade your sub to reactor and, most importantly, drop it back down into the water. Don't forget that part. Again, skip ahead to round 37 now, where you'll upgrade to destroyer. This will carry all the way up to the mob, where you'll activate naval tactics once more and blitz through it. Once again, continue on through 41 and 42, upgrading your destroyer to an aircraft carrier. This will hold for a while, but to fully ensure your safety, after round 45 you'll upgrade the top sub to reactor with twin guns as well. It's a fast forward montage now, so we'll see you back at round 54. Welcome back! We're once again going to naval tactics once the first mob pops open here. Do the same on round 57 with the double Moabs. B58 and grab carrier flagship. The BFB will be a piece of cake, but the hard bit's not over yet. Grab an arctic wind with larger radius on the top right of the flagship and blast through 61 and 62. 63 can be a small gamble, so grab a druid of the jungle on the lower platform. You'll immediately enable tactics the first wave, grabbing hard thorns on your druid in the middle of it. It should now hold for the rest unless your plain RNG is completely awful. Continue on to round 66 now, we'll upgrade to Snowstorm on your Ice Monkey. Then on 67, place a discount village using the Ice Platform next to Brickle. Give a jungle drums after 67, then skip ahead a little bit to round 72, where that druid will become a jungle's bounty. Now we're really cruising. You'll skip all the way to 76, where you'll naval tactics to play it really safe. Same idea again on 78 twice for the large ceramic waves here. Make in mind the ZMG to play it safe, and now it's time for the tough rounds. 81 looks a little bit sus, I'd recommend dropping a naval tactics in the middle and letting it come back up for 82. I don't, but I'd recommend it just to play it safe. On 82, let a few BFBs come, then mega mine the bottom punch. Naval tactics once the fortified BFBs come into range and you should be all good. Sail through 83 and then buy up Spirit of the Forest. We're not quite done yet though, upgrade the village to primary training, then place a glue above the village and brickle, upgrading it to relentless glue with glue splatter. This will completely crush everything up to round 90, where you'll naval tactics the DDTs as they're quite scary. Moving on to 92, you'll mega mine the bottom wave once all the ZMGs start to pop out. Naval tactics again on 93 with the DDTs to play it really safe, and then mega mine the ZMGs on 94 once again. This will afford you the newly buffed super glue, so buy that up and be completely safe. After 94, grab a top path mob press on the strong and you should easily sail through 95. It looks scary, but have faith in the glue. 496, place a spactory in the middle here, prepping it with the faster firing upgrades and larger spikes. Upgrade it to spark storm with the red hot spikes after. 98 looks a little scary, but you'll mega mine the bottom side with all the ZMGs and be completely fine. Grab a second Spike Storm up top, Blitz 99 and blow all your abilities on round 100, making sure to Spike Storm once the bad hits this curve and Naval Tacticking once the bad busts open. Great job! That's a cool new Flooded Strat for you all. Hope this guide helped. If it did, like, comment and subscribe down below, and I'll see you all next time.